Hello y'all, welcome to the Joy of Yoga. Today I'm gonna be introducing you to your yoga trapeze. We're just gonna start with how to get inverted in your trapeze. So I'll show you from this side as well as the other side. First, you wanna make sure that the yoga trapeze is hanging at a decent height. If you're unable to jump or get a stool to get into your trapeze, you'll wanna make sure that it's about um, hip height or just a teensy bit lower. It is nice to have it higher so your head doesn't touch the floor, but that's not necessary. So I'm going to hop into my trapeze and I wanna make sure that the fabric stops just below my bottom or just below my hip bones. And then with my arms behind the fabric, I'm gonna grab and push the material down from the back. So almost like making okays with your hands, I'm gonna squeeze down by my hips. This is gonna help me to keep the fabric around my hip bones versus up around my back, which can start to get a little uncomfortable. Before we lean back, some things to think about would be to keep um, the straps out of the way and to not wrap them in your legs, so that way they're still accessible once you go upside down. So with the straps out of the way, you can grab this material here. I'm gonna push down and then I'm gonna do what's called a straddle. So just sitting up nice and tall, I'm gonna take my legs as wide apart as they'll go. You can bend your knees if you need to, but this is super crucial. If your legs come to the inside and you try to get upside down, you're just gonna end up flipping all the way through. So to avoid this, our legs have to go around the outside, around the outside. <laughs> That's a song. <laughs> so again, hopping back in. I'm going to make sure that my legs are super duper duper wide as I rock back. The knees can be bent here. So my legs are nice and wide. I can let go with my hands here. I'm perfectly secure as long as my legs are reaching over my face. Then I can grab the handles and the straps and make sure that I bring my feet in front of the fabric so I can see them in front of me and then wrap behind and tuck my toes. So you can keep the legs straight or bent, but then once you feel secure, you can completely release your hands, neck, shoulders, and spine. So now we'll go ahead, when we're ready to sit up, we'll wanna make sure that we grab the handles or the fabric nice and slow with control. I'm gonna unwrap my legs, taking them out to the side, and then I'm going to lower my legs down as I lift my torso up. Since my legs are so heavy, it helps my torso to come up so I don't have to muscle back up. So I'll go ahead and show you what that looks like from the other side now. Stretching the fabric apart, I'm gonna sit right into my fabric. The fabric is just below my bottom or my hip bone. Then making sure that the fabric is right by my hips, behind my back. I'm gonna hold the fabric, start to rock back with wide legs. Then, as you can see, my legs are pushing forward into this fabric. So I ha I'm not going anywhere unless I start to rock backward. So I'm gonna grab the handles, make sure they're out of the way, bring my legs in front towards my face, and then wrap my legs around the back of the fabric. And then once I feel secure, I can let go. So we wanna make sure that the fabric is sitting just around the hip, the hip bones. And then when you're ready, grabbing those handles or straps, allowing the legs to unwind and then dropping back, slowly sitting up. If you need to, I recommend opening your fabric and laying halfway back. This will just help the blood to settle and for you not to like get a huge head rush or pass out when you stand up. <sighs> Perfect, so that is your number one crucial pose to know how to get into safely because most of the other poses will stem from having to be able to comfortably rock back and release your hands. Good job, please let me know if you have any questions or comments or requests um, about different poses or exercises to do on your trapeze. Happy hanging.